custom home builders, spec home builders, and track home builders. What are the differences between the three and what are some of the similarities? What is going on everyone? My name is Noah Ward. I'm a broker associate here in the Sarasota area and also partnered in a house building company as well here in Sarasota. And I get these questions quite a bit actually on a weekly basis, if not on a daily basis from a lot of you guys giving me calls asking me about what is the difference between a custom home builder, spec house builder, and a track home builder, right? Because you guys may be seeing those three terms thrown around when you're looking to buy a house or maybe you wanna build a house here in Sarasota. So what exactly are the differences? So in this video, we are going to be breaking down four key differentiators between these three different kinds of builders. So we're gonna start right now by first discussing the overall location right so where exactly is a custom house builder located a spec house builder located and a track home builder located so let's first identify who are these people before we get into this who are these so custom home builders these are people that build houses exactly for what a person is looking for in their criteria say hey Noah I want you me I want you to build us a three bed a three bath in-law suite you know, a pool bath off there with a cabana and a pool in the back, right? That is the custom route because it's very tailored to what someone is looking for. Maybe someone's like, hey, I need to have this room connected to this room and I can't find it anywhere else. That is where you go to a custom home builder because they will be able to create pretty much whatever floor plan that you want, right? And then we have the spec house builder. So the spec house builder, Spec House Builder is a builder, very similar to a custom home builder. However, they already have their floor plans that they typically build themselves. So they build this house, they already have all the materials picked, and they're not in any specific community usually. And what happens is, you know, they'll market it on the MLS, maybe they'll do, you know, have people drive by the property, they'll have signs out, whatever it may be. And these people come in, they're like, hey, I really like this house, I wanna purchase it. And, they're, and the builder's like, great, here's the contract. There's no changes that can be done with a spec house without there being an additional fee, but that is what spec house building is, is that a builder builds a house and picks out all the materials, the location and everything, starts building, and then partway through the build process, someone comes to buy it, or maybe at the end, then someone comes to buy it. Then lastly, we have a track home builder. So this may be a term that you guys hear quite often, and I use this quite often in my videos, is that Track Home Builder is Neil Communities, Taylor Morrison, DR Horan, Lennar, MI Homes, and all these other kind of builders that you see. The reason why they're called Track Home Builders is because they buy large tracts of land and they build communities, typically and usually they are HOA communities. So this is where you'll see the fee anywhere from you know $200 a month all the way up to $500 a month with these kind of community track home builders. I use the word community slash track home very intermixed um, for these builders. So if I say that, that's what I mean when I say community builder versus track home builder. They're the exact same, just a little different terminology. So where exactly are these three guys located, these three types of builders? Custom home builders are usually located anywhere in you know anywhere in the area it, it's not going to be in a specific gated community you know that already has one primary builder now there are custom home builders that will go into uh, HOA communities or maybe gated communities however the differentiator is that there's not one builder there that owns the whole entire property for example track home builders like Neil Communities Taylor Morrison they have one track of land so you can't buy their lot and then pick a builder to come build on it, you have to build with those builders that actually own the lots, right? So custom home builders, they can go anywhere. Typically they're outside of HOAs and they're on standalone single lots like South Venice, Northport, Sarasota, Longbow Key, Siesta Key, all these major areas that have, you know, infill lots here, there, maybe beach lots, whatever that may be. Those are custom builders. That's where they are. Spec Coast Builders, the exact same for the custom builders, except they usually don't build in high luxury end communities. However, they will for high end luxury spec houses, but the ones that you guys typically see on the MLS are South Venice, partially in Sarasota, downtown Sarasota, Northport, those are spec house builders as well. Then we have track home builders. So track home builders are pretty much anywhere in Sarasota County. You will see a lot of them here in Sarasota. You'll see a lot of them are pushing east now, east of I-75. A lot of them are going into Lakewood Ranch, northeast Lakewood Ranch. A lot of them are coming south into like Inglewood, um, Venice area. 
And so these are your, you know, Neil Communities, Taylor Morrison, DR Horan, and all these MI House, MI Homes. You'll see those guys everywhere. They just buy large tracts of land and they build the houses. So location wise, they're pretty much all spread out. They're not set in one specific area in Sarasota County or in the general area. Now let's talk about materials. So this is the differentiating factor with these three builders is the material aspect and the price aspect. So we're gonna start with the material aspect and that is going to start with the custom house builders. Custom home builders usually use high-end materials or you know elevated materials, not like luxury high-end materials, unless it's a luxury custom house, for example, a multi-million dollar house. But custom doesn't have to be a multi-million dollar house, guys. It can be five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars, not multi-million dollars. These guys, though, use very high-end materials, you know, elevated materials that spec house builders or track home builders won't use, right? So that goes into spec house builders. So spec home builders are grade down from custom home builders, usually. And spec host builders, they pick mid-grade materials. Some pick, you know, low-grade materials, but those are select few individual builders that are in this area. I'm not gonna name names for certain specific reasons, obviously. Custom home builders use the most amount, the highest end materials. Spec host builders use mid-grade materials. Then we go to track home builders. Now, this is where things get a little bit dicey, a little bit in between fine line here, is that some track home builders, they build with mid-grade materials, or there's certain track home builders that build with low-grade materials. I'm not gonna differentiate who they exactly are, but you guys know if you have walked through these communities, you will probably know which builders I am talking about. But track home builders, they go for the margins, right? So they buy a lot of things in bulk, they buy all their materials in bulk, and then they throw them all in the houses. Usually they're all the same product, typically. Um, and so they use mid to low grade materials. I'm not going to say they use all low grade materials, even though I've walked through plenty that have had those lower end materials in them. But I would say for the majority part, they use low to mid grade materials overall. Um, so now that we kind of talk about location materials, let's talk about the overall price because that is what I get asked the most about is probably on a weekly basis is, no, well, how much does it cost to build a custom house or how much does it cost to build a spec house or how much does it cost to build with a track home builder? And here's my response to that. What exactly would you be looking for in a house? Because I can't just name off a price because for example, people are like, no, what can you build a house for uh, cost per square foot for a custom house? And I'm like, well, what do you want? And then they're, t they're telling me, well, uh, I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm just trying to figure out what pricing is. And I'll tell them, well, prices can range anywhere from $250 a square foot up to $500 a square foot. What are you looking for to build? <laughs> At the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. What are you looking to build? Custom house builds, you can build in any of that price per square foot range, you know, and be very comfortable. Obviously $500 a square foot is very high end luxury houses, but that's just what I'm saying is you can build for as cheap as $250 a square foot to $500 a square foot. It's That's what you're looking at. And then spec house building is usually a little bit cheaper than custom home building because you don't have options, right? Custom home building, you have all these options you can choose from. You can go wild on selections. You get to actually choose what your floor plan is. Spec house building is a great down, so it is usually a little bit cheaper. Not always, but usually a little bit cheaper than custom home builds. Then we have your track home builders. These track home builders, they buy all these materials in bulk, store them in warehouses, and just build, 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 build. That's all they do, right? So those prices are a lot more economical. If you are on a budget, Track Home Builder is probably the best route to go because they can get those numbers and prices down that a typical spec house builder or custom home builder can't do because all these Track Home Builders are buying in bulk. They're buying 30, 40, 50 houses at a time material-wise. So they're able to get these prices down quite a bit lower to make it more economical for a buyer. So now let's talk about time frame. So we talked about location, where they located, materials, price. Now let's talk about the final thing and that is going to be the timeline. Custom home building is going to be take, it's going to take the longest. And I'm not going to lie because here is how a custom house building process works. And if you guys wanna go check out that video that I just put out last week about custom home builds, 
go and check out my last video and we are discussing the nine different steps for a custom house build process. So let's talk about the time frame really quick. So for a custom house, one, you have to acquire the land. The land can take anywhere from, it takes 30 days to close on a lot typically, but if you're looking around, I say 30 to 45 days to look for a piece of land, unless you're looking for a specific piece of land, maybe acreage, maybe a state, that may take a couple months to find that land, right? So you have, just say you have one to two months in finding land and closing on the land. Then what you have to do is you have to get everything prepped. You have to go through the overall process of getting surveys, designing your house plan, getting all that taken care of. That can take anywhere from one month to three months, right? So you have that added on. Then you go through the permitting process. Now the permitting process in Sarasota County and you know any of the cities in Sarasota County, it takes about four to 10 weeks to get your permit approved. So you're looking at anywhere from one month to two months, basically. There you go, add that. Then we have the building time of the house, which is anywhere from seven to nine months, I would say seven to 10 months, just depending on how readily available the materials are and you know how readily available the labor is as well. So that's just gonna dictate a lot of different things and that'll determine it you know, seven to 11 months, somewhere around there in that time frame. So you're looking at roughly over a year with a custom house build all in. So that's something to be aware of. Then we have spec house building. Spec house building is great. It's a great option. And spec because spec house builders, they usually start building and then they sell it halfway through when they're done or maybe when they're fully complete. So you're buying a house that will be done in three months, four months from now, or you may be buying a house that is two months away, one month or one week away, whatever that may be. So that is going to save you a little bit more time. You still get a new construction house. Then we have track house builders. These track house builders usually have what we call as inventory homes. These inventory homes, they usually have like five to 10 different inventory homes at a time in different floor plans. And these houses can be done anywhere in one to five months. Some builders will have a little bit more um, inventory available and they may have one coming up next week, whatever that may be, but it's really builder, builder, um, you know, it's really dependent on the specific builder, I would say. But I wouldn't say that they'll be done right away. They may take a few months. So that pretty much sums up the major differences between a custom home builder, a spec home builder, and a track home builder. So now at the end of the day, there's three questions that you want to ask yourself is, what is your timeline? What is your budget? And what exactly are you looking to build? Once you have all of those three questions answered, that is going to determine if you want to build a custom house, go with a spec home builder or a track home builder. Any three of those are perfectly fine. Everyone has their own situation. So you will find your perfect new construction house. I can almost guarantee you that. And once again, guys, I am a licensed real estate broker associate here in Sarasota, Florida. So if you don't want to build with us and our building company, perfectly fine. I know that I can help you guys find the perfect builder for you or a new construction house that is ready. My contact information is right here. Also down in the description down below. But once again, don't feel, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I get calls from you guys daily about building houses and just questions about the overall building process. I'm more than happy to hop on a phone call with you and talk the building process over. Maybe you guys have specific questions to your specific situation. More than happy to answer those questions for you as well. But once again, my name is Noah Ward. I'm here in Sarasota, Florida, and we will catch you guys all next week.